Hey everyone, this is Mr. Everything. And if you like Xbox pretty much in any way, whether you paid attention to E3 or not, you probably have heard in some way about the new features coming to the Xbox One. And today I just wanted to show off the uh, backward compatibility and see if it actually works. So the first thing is digital, and then they also mentioned that they had on disk or your physical disk. I'm not exactly sure how this will work, but I do know if you go to your games, and let's just scroll over here, and then you're ready to install like a lot of these or demos, but you can see Defense Grid there is a 360 game, and then Viva Pinata, and then you can see it in the store. I someone said you can find the Xbox 360 games under Xbox 360, but I looked in the store last night and didn't see it, so I don't really care to download those. But the only one I have on disc is uh, Mass Effect. But let's just try a game that isn't s supported, and I really wouldn't think Activision would allow Call of Duty to be supported because then they're not going to get as many sales on the newer games. But let's see what happens with a game that isn't compatible. Let's give it a minute. Okay. This game is unplayable here. Visit xbox.com for a list of 360 games. So, I like how it recognizes it instead of just like saying it's an unsupported format, now they've made it to where it'll, it's up, been updated, obviously. There was an update last night. Now, I also have uh, Mass Effect. I already beat the game, so I really have no reason to play it. I never finished two, though, but that one's not supported yet. So let's see what happens with this one. Because, again, there wasn't any way for me to, in the store, look up Mass Effect. Okay. Update this for Xbox One. So I guess I'll just go to install. And then I'll obviously come back when this is done and we'll see what happens. So it's just... Actually, now I wonder if this is downloading or installing. Is it reading the disk and installing it, which would be like almost burning a CD? Or is it uh, downloading it from the internet? Probably I'll be able to tell by how long it takes. It shouldn't be more than 20 minutes, if that, if it's just installing off the disk. But again, I don't know exactly how to find that game, because if you go into the store, unless they've updated, I didn't see a section for play that game. Because most of my 360 games are physical copies, not downloads. And there's very few good ones that are supported yet. And I, I'm really curious to find out if we're going to see many or if this is going to be a gimmick. Because I know that they're really trying to win back the faith of gamers in the Xbox brand. So hopefully they won't give up on this and they'll get a, at least a few hundred games on there, even if they don't have every single one. Because, realistically, how many 360 games are we going to want to play on a one? But, so that's how it works. I'll just give this time, let it finish, and then I'll make a video afterward. But that's Xbox, or backward compatibility of the 360 on the Xbox One. And I'm not sure if this is available yet to everyone. I'm in the preview program. But I know as far as the preview program members, clearly Xbox 360 compatibility is there. So I'll just add the next part in when this uh, installation is done. And okay, so now I'm back and you can see that the game down there is installed. It did actually download it from the internet because it took a little bit of time so it doesn't just install off the disk. But it actually works, but let me show you. This was a disk title. If you try and start it without the disk, it's just like the Xbox One. If you didn't buy the game digitally, you have to put the disc in, which I understand that's a, basically a form of DRM, but I can understand that because otherwise people would just borrow their friend's 360 game, put it on here, and be able to play it, so you have to put that disc in. And you'll notice here, it's basically like booting up into the 360, and as you can tell, I'm on the one here, there's no trickery. If you go to this part of the, the uh, dashboard and you go to Back to the Future, that player right there, that's a video that describes, you can see it says I signed into Xbox Live. 
it describes basically how this feature works and surprisingly this is actually a software based emulator obviously uh, the uh, 360 I believe was a triple core power PC architecture and this is a 8 core x86 architecture I'm pretty sure those are the right specifications so obviously you can't just put the game in and it'll work this is done via software emulation which I don't fully understand because the updates that they've been passing out have only been a few hundred megabytes so how they crunched it or did that to get that to happen I don't know it's pretty amazing though nonetheless it seems to work fine now the problem here is they want you to you have to use cloud saves I don't think there's a way to transfer the files over so I don't know how to set up cloud saves on the 360 I haven't done that yet so right now I, my saves aren't here so I have to go back to my 360 down there and see if I can transfer all my stuff to the cloud but nonetheless we're in here you can see there's no trickery and if I want you can take a screenshot again there's that lag Try that again. See, there's that that snapping lag. That I told it to take a screenshot twice now, and it still hasn't taken one. Of course, that's going to be addressed with uh, the Windows 10 dashboard update. But I'm going to mess around with this a little bit more. I'll probably do some more videos on it. But for now, I just wanted to show basically how it works. And make sure you check out that video on the dashboard, or probably on Xbox.com or their YouTube they'll give you a little more info on it. It's a really cool idea and hopefully they can get some more games over but I think with licensing and people these uh, develop or not so much the developers but the publishers being greedy I'd be surprised if we see a bunch of good big titles but they did say they were going to try and get all their first party games so that's something anyway. So if you want to see more on this let me know I'll be covering more of the new features coming to the Xbox One and this is actually exclusive to preview program members as of right now that was also mentioned in the video so thanks for watching and you'll see me in the next one